Hello everybody, and welcome to another episode oh, of Mixed Rick Mo's. Miller. Got my little Riley boy here. Um, Happy New Year to you all. Um, today is the day after uh, New Year's. What do you um, Yeah, here you go, drink. Um, he's got his elf on the shelf drink um, today. We've got him there. Uh, always do it. Orange drink. Uh, so yeah, Happy New Year to you all. And um, wish you all the very best for 2020. And hopefully this year will be a good year for us and our YouTube channel. Um, we're just nearly, actually, what is the date today? Uh, Friday, Tuesday, Friday. Date today is the 2nd. So tomorrow, um, yeah, tomorrow is actually our anniversary. Um, one year of running a YouTube channel. And um, we're currently sat at about uh, 1,770 odd subscribers. Um, had lots of lovely comments throughout the entire year. Not a lot of negativity, which is fantastic. Um, we've done loads and we've shown you loads. So this year we're going to push hard, 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 and we're going to be um, knocking lawn mowers, strimmers, generators, hedge cutters, you name it. Anything I can get my hands on, I'll be fixing and showing you videos on how to do it. So hopefully it'll be a good year for us and a good year for you too. So don't forget, if this is your first time in watching Mixed Mowers, don't forget to hit the old subscribe button, whack the old bell uh, on your way through, and that'll uh, give you a notification to tell you that I've released another video and uh, you'll be told, so that'll be good. So, moving straight on to the new year, we have a um, a nice letter here okay. turned up. If you hang on two seconds, Riley Boy, I'll open it up and you can have a little look at it. It's got the address on it, so I don't want to show the address. Knives are? Sharp. They are sharp, aren't they? There's a few bits, bits in there by the feel of it. There you go. If you uh, take that card out first and read the card. I've got a Okay. Let's have a look. We've got a nice card there um, with a bird on a post box. I don't know what kind of bird that is. It doesn't look like a robin, but uh, it's uh, some other kind of bird. And it says, um, May um, the simple joys of the season be yours. Merry Christmas from Bama Mud Mower and Mama Swinner. So that's from Doug. Mama. Doug and Mama. It's about Mama. So that just came just after Christmas, Doug. I had a suspicion it would do, buddy. Uh, but thank you very much for the card. And we've got some other bits in here. Hang on, Riley. Let me just, let, yeah, I've just got to get my fingers into them. So you can then, yeah, there you go. And we've got an absolute load. I don't so I'm assuming these are going to be doubles for me to pass Wait, for me to pass around for other people if they want them in the UK. I'm guessing that's that, that's a feeling, Doug. Is for, is for me to uh, pass them around. Yeah, they're all, they're all the same, buddy, aren't they? Doggy. Doggy. Donkey. Yeah. <laughs> Doggy. <laughs> we get there in a minute. I might have to edit this bit out. Doody! Doody, doody. Cool. So, um, Doug doesn't do actual stickers. He just laminates bits of paper on his and then you get a bit of sticky tape on behind. And it says, Doug Sweener, Jack of all trades, uh, YouTube. And there, there's Doug Sweener's um, yeah. sticker there. Daddy. What I'll do is I'll put Doug's link in the description. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'll put Doug's description on the... Uh, in the I'll put Doug's link in the description so you can see it. So it's one from Doug. You can't, it's not a sticky one. It is. It's not. I'll try. And then we've also got his lovely wife, Mama Sweena. Hi, Mama. Uh, love, hugs, and prayers. Uh -huh. And then there's Mama's one. And again, it's a laminate, um, which you put a bit of sticky tape on the back and stick it on. So that's fantastic. Um, super happy with them. I've got a few doubles there. So uh, I take it, Doug, you want me to pass them around to the people in the UK. So if anyone wants a um, one of Doug's um, or got one of Mama's left, um, give us a shout in the old comment section. So that's fantastic. Super happy. Do you want something to drink? Yep. Cool. I'll have a sip of my old coffee. Cheers. Happy, oh, happy. happy New Year. Okay, so today's video, we're going to be doing the um, champ what? champion premiere. Right. That's going to be a strip down today, engine off, um, axles off, all that stuff. Get it prepped, ready for spray paint or for painting. I may just Amorite paint it in the hammered paint. That tends to look quite good. Only reason is is the deck is particularly pitted. It's not um, it's not a particularly smooth deck, and it will take quite a bit of preparation to get it to spray it black. And I, I have done one or two up before in the hammered um, look, and they look quite nice because they don't show all the imperfections up. In all the way. Say again. I'll turn it around, okay. So uh, that's what we're doing today. I've got a couple more videos I want to pump out today as well. Also, the mixed mowers van, uh, the, the, the old mower van went in for MOT today. The MOT was well lapsed on it. Um, I forgot to renew it. So that's gone in today. Hopefully, I get a phone call back at some point and say it's passed or it's failed. That is van. 
Um, so that's done. They're not broken, just got my MOT. Is Bobby? Uh, no, it'd be fine. Um, so we're doing that. I've got a few more videos to do. I've also got the hate to get on with and other bits and pieces. So uh, we're going to be busy, 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 and we're not even busy, busy, we're not busy, even busy, in the busy, season busy. yet. But I've got about 15 miles all up and sort of service ready to go, as you've seen, um, throughout, throughout the uh, December winter season. So that's taken me quite well through. Um, so today we're going to be doing the um, champion premiere. So without further ado, let's get down dirty and let's get this lawnmower stripped. Right, here's the old Champion Premiere I'm talking about. If you remember, this has appeared on two other videos because one, it didn't start, I've got it running, and two, I didn't have a grass box for it, and I managed to change the back flap to take the BMC um, grass box on the back of it, so that's all good. So now's the time to strip it right down. That doesn't belong in here because that is off of the old flap. So I'm gonna put it to one side. I don't wanna get that confused. For this type of project, you wanna have um, a magnet tray definitely and then what I'm also going to have is a project box which would be one of these a big a big tub because you want to put all your nuts and bolts into one box and then label that champion premier because it may not come back on the bench for another couple of weeks, I may have other stuff come in. So make sure you have a nice big box to put stuff in. Otherwise, you're gonna you're gonna you know get a bit uh, lost as to where your parts are. So why isn't that wheel turning? That's better. So first, thing I want to do is I want to remove the uh, throttle cable and the um, dead man's cable, which will be down here. Let me bring you down to a suitable area. Be about there. So first thing we're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver. That's any better. And we're just going to remove this screw. If I can undo it, it may need to get a socket on it. Yeah, I'm going to round that off otherwise. So let's just build that socket system up. It's nice to get back into the old shed, to be fair, after Christmas. Crack that one off. Just loosen it off. And then that's going to go back on in a minute once a once a cable has been retracted out, so we don't lose no, no additional bits. You can pull that out now and twist that, and that should give you the cable. So there's a throttle cable. Take that off, and then put that piece back on. As I say, you don't want to be losing any bits. As long as it's on, I can remember which way it goes. So that's the um, the throttle cable they're taken out. I'm going to snip all of these um, cable ties because someone sent me a load of cable ties as a gift. So I don't need any of these. That one can come off. There's a few kinks in these wires. They're not too bad. They're still complete. So that's not a bad thing. But a pair of long nose snips. And you've got a brake cable here, which literally you push together and pull that out. Now they are a bit tricky because they're under a bit of tension here. There it goes. Yeah, that's been squeezed up tight and it's been bent as well. Right. <clears throat> now that that's done, I want to disconnect the throttle cable from the, from the arm side. And that will just leave the cable sitting loose because I want to keep the engine off and all that sort of good stuff. So I, what I may do first, tip up on the side, get the engine off. With the engine being out of the way, it makes the machine a lot lighter. And we'll go from there. Okay, there's a bit of fuel in here, so I want to clamp off the, the old fuel with my set of forceps. Again, these were purchased as a gift for me. I've got two or three sets of those now. And now we can tip this, um, this lawnmower engine up on its side and we can look to remove uh, the engine. It should be just three bolts. Oh, easy. That's it. One there, one there, and one over here. 
So let me grab my D-Wall and I'll be back in two ticks. Right, I've got my D-Wall. I'm losing a bit of petrol. I can smell petrol at the bottom. And a little tiny bit of what's in the bowl. So that's no biggie. So. That didn't feel right. What size is that on there? 13. That's slipping, I think. I thought they were just bolts on this one, but they're not. They're actually bolts with uh, nuts on as well. Right, let me try that. There it goes. So there's one. I'm going to get a magnet tray in, which would be the one I have on the project. Just dropped a nut under the bench. So I'll go and retrieve that, and I'll come back. All right, I've got that. Um, so we'll just carry on. I'm going to do the lowest one here now, next. Put that one on. And then the spanner to go on the back side of that as well. On the nut should be all the way over here which you won't guys you guys won't see so I've got the nut and then one more to do. Right, I've got one more left, which is one down here, which would be that one. So let's get that locked on. Or as you Americans call it, a wrench. And then gently, gently, because this engine will now want to fall off now, so I go nice and gentle. The, um, the engine up on a tub just behind me. So now what I can do is I can now get hold of the engine itself and manipulate it off of the belt. Right, next up is going to be the axles to come off and there's four 8mm bolts that hold those on. Just go nice and steady with them because you, if you snap them we've had it. One there, one there. I'm using setting number two on my Dewalt gun, not number three. I don't want to be going mad. And these are held on with these little tiny um, clips just here, which hold the axle on. Having an impact certainly makes life easier. Lots of people don't like using them because they think they're too aggressive, well they are too aggressive, but as long as you just go easy, um, you won't have too many issues. I'm just going to change my size of my impact bar to a thinner one. And get in there.
and that's what adjusts your gearbox tension. That's been on quite some time, that is. That'll have a spring behind it and a collar. It's a fair old sized bolt. And it's corroded and all that sort of yummy stuff. Here it comes. So you've got a washer, you've got a spring, and you've got a, a little plug as well. I'm going to remove the flap next, which you all saw on my last video how easy that is. Um, literally just a bar. You just tap out and that comes off. Put that in the box. I don't think there's no screws on this one here. I'm going to try and now remove this. Um, it's a circlet. There's a circlet just on this height adjustment. Happy to get rid of these, uh, this drive cable. There's a little circlet just down in here which has to come out. To enable you to um, take that height adjustment bar off. So you use a flat edged driver first just to manipulate the circuit around to push it out. Let's go very easy. They are very, very soft metal indeed. There it goes. And there's a little circlet removed. And then that bar should pop out. There it goes. That can go up and out of the way. And that will then help free off this, uh, this top axle as well. There's no screws on that side there to come off. I don't think there's any on the other side. Sometimes there is a few retaining screws. But I'm not seeing it. So to get this height adjustment off, simply lift the um, uh, height adjustment bar out, and that will loosen the entire axle. Uh, if you struggle to do it, it won't come out. It's because the height adjustment is in, is in this located hole. So now, whoop, we can lift this up. place and then this axle should pop out not as simple as it as it sounds but it will do and with a height adjustment bar the other side like I took like I just showed you with that in the out position that one will lift out that'll all lift out and then that will then show you the uh, the drive cable so let me grab a pair of long nose snippers squeezing them in at the right place and then push them out and out it comes just like that easier said than done uh, it, it can hold you up even more so when you're trying to record it so that goes into a project box and now we can finally retract this drive cable it's got a little tiny bung on the inside of the body deck you want to remove that and leave it on the cable if you can. Let me show you where that is. So I've got a pair of long nose snips maybe. Just get hold of that little tiny bung. Pull it out. Out comes the drive cable. And off come the arms to the mower. So that's that part of the mower taken off. So now we've got all we've got left to do is a front axle and this spring. What I do with a spring is I get a piece of a pull cord rope and I put it over top of one of the springs. 
and with a bit of brute force, just try and get hold of that spring, stretch it, and take it off. Just a note to make that it uh, only goes on one way uh, on that on that uh, little tiny bit there. Right, good, that's that done. Now we can concentrate on the front axle, which pretty much nothing that holds that on other than gravity. There's a spring on one side. Which holds it all on. That literally just sits in there like so. And you take this front wheel off. A little washer there. There's the bearing. So there's not actually anything that holds an axle on other than gravity. I was convinced there would be a little tiny um, washer of a, a screw in there, which I think there should be. But when we go to put it back together, we'll have a, a bit of a better detailed look at it. So I'll just put that nut back on. I don't want to lose it. And that's the height adjustment removed. And that's it. I think that probably took about half an hour total time. And now the lawnmower deck is now ready for uh, for sanding down. I'm going to be using a flappy disc, which will be in another video. Um, so this is going to be part one. I want to try and remove these stickers if I can, best I can, to try and keep them. Uh, but I'm not overly concerned because I do have a BMC box and it's no longer going to be a champion. But we'll see. I need to try and remove this sticker for definite. If I can't remove that in one piece, I should be masking it round because that's got all the ID on it. This one here will come off. Um, so let me just have a quick scrape up, tidy up, and I'll show what the mower looks like once I've just done a bit of digging because there's a bit of bubbling here. And then uh, we go from there. Okay, and here's what the mower looks like now. Um, there is some pitting on it. The sticker didn't come off. Um, it just cracked. It was so brittle. Um, so that's a shame. But uh, as I say, I'm not overly concerned. It's got a BMC... Um, bag on it so maybe sold as a BMC lawnmower now not a champion but uh, that's only the sponsor anyway so that'll do for part one part two will be me actually grinding this this bad boy off and cleaning it all up and making it look um back to bare metal and then uh, hopefully part three will be uh, a paint job and um reassemble a bit of luck okay so that's part one of the premier lawnmower stroke BMC now done um, the engine is all off, all stripped down as you saw, and uh, it's now ready for grinding and what have you. So that'll come in part two. So thank you very much for joining me and my little Riley boy on this episode of Mixed Mowers. He's been darting in and out of the shed like a, like a fiddle's elbow. Yeah. Um, we're going to have to go see Nana. Yeah. And there's something to eat. Yeah. It looks like you have. Yeah. You've got crispies around your solid chops. Yeah. Um, so thank you very much. Don't forget to hit the old subscribe button, thumbs up, thumbs down, whack the old bell, all that sort of good stuff. And we look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Mixed Mowers um, very, very soon. Put it to end, people. Don't forget. Take her easy.